What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 So today we're gonna show you how to create an interactive voxel world. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we will need is this free plugin, okay? I will be linking it in the description. It is actually well known in the Unreal Engine community, so maybe you already uh, you know, have heard of this. But basically, we have to install it and then install it in our engine version. In this case, I will be using 5.2, but because I have already installed it, it only appears 5.1. But you want to install it in the version that you want, and then you just press install. And uh, let's go ahead and tune in and open up the project, okay? So once you have opened your project with that engine version that you installed the plugin on, we want to go up into edit, go into plugins, and then search for the voxel plugin. And then go ahead and enable this. I have already done this, um, but a pop-up will show up here, uh, so down here, and then you will need to press restart. So the editor will restart, and now you have the plugin installed. All right, so now let's actually begin. So what we're going to do is go into file and create a new level. Let's create a basic level say create and then delete the floor we don't need that then we're going to do is go up here into quickly add to a product and then we're going to go into this voxel section if you don't see this voxel section you can just go into voxel uh, all classes and you search for voxel okay but if you have this section well it's just more organized sorry i didn't want to add that uh, let's go ahead and just drag the voxel world into the scene and then you will see that we have a big land without nothing you're just dead uh, let's just make sure that the location is centered. So you just press this, uh, you know, button to put it in the zero zero zero. All right. So now let's go ahead and make this a bit more interesting. The cool thing is that we can go into the generator uh, part over here and choose a lot of different ones. Now, for example, I already showcased the planet. Um, generator in another video if you want to see that i will be in the link in the description you can really create huge voxel planets uh interact that are interactive in just a couple of seconds it's crazy but today we're gonna be using just a simple landscape just to showcase stuff so let's just go and select vg example erosion and you will see that slowly it will just create a simple landscape with some mountains and so on okay nothing crazy but everything is random procedurally generated it's really cool now this is pretty cool right now if i go a bit up and why do i say uh, go a bit up the thing is that once you press play the um the landscape will start to generate again and it will take a bit so sometimes our character will fall to the ground because the landscape has not, has not generated but you can see that looks pretty cool but i guess that if you're going to voxel style normally you're looking more into the type of minecraft or teardown style and what i mean with that is go down here into the render type and we can change it from marching cubes into cubic and now yes you will see that we have more of the minecraft style now maybe you don't you know you're not really looking for a minecraft style but more of a different voxel style like i just mentioned like teardown so what you can do is just go up here into the voxel size and put it in something as maybe a 10. And now you will see that the voxels will be way smaller and overall it's like the definition, well, the resolution of the voxels are increasing slowly. And you see what happened there? That's what I'm talking about. You have to put your player start a bit up because now you will fall to the ground. You can see now this more of what you maybe expect from a voxel game basically uh, small little squares generate in the wall you, you get it right you have seen all many videos now you can see that it's a bit slower this method um maybe it's just because i'm recording but basically what you can do also is select this go into the thread section and increase this for example from two to five and now the landscape should generate a bit faster but um you know have that in mind i'm recording right now and so on so that's why the landscape kind of just goes until there but it should it should go into pretty much the infinite you know what i mean all right so now let's go actually go and interact with this world real quick so i'm gonna just make an example of editing the landscape so what i'm going to do is just go into third person blueprints and open my third person character blueprint okay let me just open the full blueprint and let's say once this opens that when we click the left mouse button we will basically for example add uh, sorry remove terrain from the ground and the other way around when we go ahead and uh, right click it will add terrain now have in mind that this project needs to be created 
from C++, okay? In order to, to work that, I actually forgot to mention before when you create the product, okay? Um, and if you have already created a Blueprints one, and you want to use the plugin where you can just go into Tools and create a new C++ class, and that will basically convert it, the product into C++. Anyway, back here, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add the left mouse button. So when we press the left mouse button, I'm going to do something. So in this case, I'm going to do something simple. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot a right cast from the player's camera, just forward until it hits the terrain. So I'm going to use this node, which is the line trace by channel. Probably the, you guys will know about this, but let's just get the follow camera and get the weld location. So that will be the starting point. That's where the invisible line will start to appear. And then what we can do is just get the rotation. In this case, the weld rotation and then get the forward vector. So we'll be able to get in the direction that the camera is looking. And then we can just multiply this by a value. Just right click, convert this to a float, so it's a nice number. And this is the distance that you'll be able to basically edit the landscape. Now let's go ahead and get this and add both of these vectors and that will be our end point. With that, what we're going to do is, I mean, I can, I can show you what you just did. If we put this for duration and I'll press play, you can see when I left click, you see that we have some invisible lines and it will be hitting exactly where I am looking. So that's where we're going to edit the terrain. So now here we're going to do is just get this and just make a branch. So we will only continue. We have actually hit it something very important. And now we can just get this and use this node to break all the results and have all the information. So from here, what I want to do is just make sure that it is our box weld and we want to use uh, the, um, the properties of the voxel weld. So we can just get the hit actor and cast to voxel weld. So if this succeeds, it means that it is our voxel weld, and if not, if we cast fails, it's not a voxel weld, so we'll not do anything. But if it hits our voxel weld, we'll get some property. And now we have two options here. The first one's gonna be remove sphere, and also this can be any kind of um, shape that you want in my case i'm going to use a sphere because it's simple and then we need to basically put the position that uh, it will remove some landscape in this case it will be the impact point then the radius for example 200 will work good for me so now if i compile and save and I'll quickly just press play go here you'll see that when i left click the landscape will start to disappear once i press it and it's really really cool and what we can do i mean let me also just go ahead and disable the the bug we don't need that uh we can do exactly the same but the opposite for the right mouse button so let me just make it simple let me use uh what, the right mouse button if i know how to type right there you go right mouse button and they just copy and, and paste this except this copy paste as simple as that and then what we're going to do is instead of removing sphere we're gonna add sphere Okay, and now with that, we can just plug in our impact point, put a radius of 200 again, for example. And then we can just press play. And you can see when I left click, we're okay, I, I did enter inside. So, of course, you should have any contr uh, control of not going uh, very close to your character and, and dinging him. But basically, you can go ahead and edit the landscape and adding some stuff, as you can see, or even go ahead and go in the tunnel into the on the world there we go I just teleported or something i don't know what just happened there but <laughs> but you get the idea okay so you can really go into depth now i've literally just touched the surface of this plug uh, this plug uh, plugin i don't even know how to talk um basically just editing the landscape literally adding and removing some boxes but you can do so many things with that if you want to see more videos on the box to plug in and go ahead and comment it below i've already made this uh also procedural planet video if you want to check it out again link in the description so that's it guys, if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, I really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. Join my Discord server and follow me on all my socials. Now just, plus that, bye bye.